Hello to the viewers of this video. I am back on Scratch today doing another programming tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a smoothly moving character that you can control with the arrow keys. Okay, so as you can see here, I have um a basic piece of code here. It basically says whenever you press these arrows and change the X and the Y. You can see if I'm pressing the arrows right now, uh, when I press the arrow, the cat will move. And then when I stop pressing the arrow, the cat will stop. And now this is great, um, but um, in real life, if you are going to move around, then the movement would be a lot smoother than this and uh, so I'm going to be teaching you how to code movement like that um, into your program alright so what you wanna gonna wanna do is you should have um, some variables for the velocities so I'm just gonna do um, x velocity and then a new variable called y velocity and then this is how fast they'll be going in the x and y direction and so uh, every frame when it goes through this it should change the x and the y by these velocities so it's not moving at all right now because you can see that these are both set to zero but what what we can do is we can say instead of moving it with these arrow keys we can change the velocity we can say if the up arrow key is pressed then we can say change the y velocity and then if the down arrow key is pressed then we can change it by a negative one then we can do a similar thing with the x velocity there we go and now you can see so i kind of have this gliding motion but at this point, um, it's really hard to control, and then um, the velocities will keep getting bigger and bigger, and they're going to get really big. So from here, uh, what I want to do is I want to kind of try to um, let the cat experience friction so that it gradually slows down over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the y velocity by itself divided by 10 and then I'm gonna make that negative so I can just do divided by negative 10 that'll take up um, less space but another way you could do it is negative 1 times this or 0 minus this you can see now that the y velocity variable is kinda going crazy uh, and then there's you can only kinda get it up so high and now uh, we can do the same thing with the x velocity. You know, I should set these to zero uh, at the beginning of the project. Um, but now, as you can see, um, when I go to use the arrow keys, uh, the cat will kind of move slower. This is a little bit uh, too slow to accelerate and decelerate, so I, I'm going to change these to negative 2 and 2. And now you can see that it moves a bit faster. So now, as you can see, it'll speed up and slow down further, and you can um, tinker with these numbers more to do what you want. So I basically accomplished this. Um, I'm just going to set the size to something lower, like 50%. There we go, so now you can see it's smaller. Um, another thing I want to do is I want to go over how to have a scrolling screen. So to do this, you'll need to have a sprite, and then, and then we'll have some circles to navigate around. Uh, so you can... Uh, try to avoid them or something but and then uh, what I have to do is then I have to set the size to um, several hundred percent 
but that's only possible with a blank costume. So I'm going to say switch costume to costume 2 so I can set the size and then I'll switch it back to costume 1. And now I uh, there's this um, large map to explore. But what I want to do is actually I want to say um forever loop and then I want to say change x and change y by these uh x velocity and y velocity variables and then I can remove that from there and now you can see the cat doesn't move at all um but you can see uh um uh this should actually be negative so uh, I'm just gonna swap the controls now I'm gonna sort of move around and you can see that I'm navigating this circle here you can see there are two circles that cross there and uh, you can make like a more advanced map than these random circles but um, this is what I made uh, I should also do um go to front at the beginning so that it doesn't um, hide behind the red circles of course that might be what you want uh, but that's about it for this uh, tutorial